Last year, or the last couple of years actually, I never even uh, showed my physical portfolio. I do have one that I, uh, I'm going to talk about and how to bind these relatively inexpensive photo books could be one option. I think it should be pretty durable and easy to clean. It's sometimes easier than to hook up the tech, but these days really everything's online. You just send somebody a link. It's the easiest way to forward it to whoever needs to see it. Um, we're all on a computer right now, so that's easy. People don't even have a portfolio. They just have a digital like Instagram. That's where they show it or a good Behance or it's just a word of mouth kind of operation. The, the really good designers are too busy, but we talked about it before that if you're too busy, it's also a, a good way, excuse not to, to go ahead and actually grow. So um, you want to be getting on the radar of those people that maybe even like give you a better job than you have. Maybe you're like super happy with the one that you just fought so hard for. People change their jobs every two, three years on average now. So you don't always wear the same hat. So just be prepared with that. But you want to be on the radar for everybody when these things come up because you might just be too late. You just miss the opportunity or too early and they're not ready yet. So um, that's why a digital portfolio is really good to have a website and, and keep it sort of updated. <laughs> I, um, I should talk. But, uh, sometimes keep in mind you have to sign um, non-disclosure agreements, NDEAs with companies where you cannot show the work that you worked on unless you also credit them or they're all okay with it. But it might go through a client of a client, so that could be complicated. I cannot show a lot of the corporate work that I do. Neither do I want to because it's maybe kind of good for my bank account, but it's not actually what I want people to think of me when they hire me, and it's not the kind of jobs, as long as I can afford it, that I really want to do. So I only show work that I actually want to be hired for. I think that's also important. Then, um, yeah, I have a headshot there so people know who I am. There's an about page, very important. Uh, it should have an email where you can be reached that's not outdated, that you regularly check. Of course, I have a bit of an artist statement in there so people know um, who I am, it's my, like, the one that I use forever. I should probably write a new one after all these years. I also have um, my resume. It's not on the front page. It's somewhere more on the bottom of my about if people are really interested and it's something that they formally need to have for their files. They can see my resume. They can see where um, I worked. And um, here are two pages, a screenshot, and I have a front and back because I wanted to have this kind of infographic. It's more of a CV because I also include the publications and exhibitions that I had usually uh, stick to one page. I think that's uh, um, better. In my case, I have so much after all these years that maybe it makes sense to have two pages, but generally I would stick to one. Also, you need to include your social media handles. Uh, I should have a better hashtag on my website. If you um, establish one that you can stick with, that I think is important these days too. And I have a, a bunch of links on the bottom of other sites that I'm featured at, um, like a Picha Kucha site, LinkedIn, um, Dribble, Behance. Do I have a Twitter? I hardly ever update it. Instagram, same there, Tumblr, Pinterest, and things like that. Uh, you could list those on your um, digital portfolio as well. And... Uh, if you, some people include testimonials. I don't have them on my website. I think it's a bit too salesy, so I didn't include that. Um, but it might not be a bad idea if you, if, if you have room for that. You can include the awards, uh, recognitions. Uh. Also at the bottom, I think it's kind of nice if you include your volunteer work for other groups or hobbies that you have. So it shows that you're not a complete digital nomad, but that you can actually work in the team and, and be a nice person, which all of you are, of course, assumed. All right. This is uh, a, a sh the short list of things that I think are important in a digital portfolio, um, aka your website.